Hey gang, this is Carl White broadcasting here in the headquarters over at the Scotsman's Guide. And you are listening to the Author Showcase podcast powered by the fine folks down at the Scotsman's Guide. And this is where we interview the authors of the Scotsman's Guide uh, magazine. And as you most of you know, Scotsman's Guide has two magazines, one's for the commercial, one's for the residential. And uh, this episode today is on the residential side. And I'm uh, interviewing Brian Decker, who wrote a great article called Take the Jolt Out of Power Bills. Take the Jolt Out of Power Bills. And uh, Brian, so first of all, great to see you here. Well, where, where are you coming to us from today? Yeah, so I'm in, out in Scottsdale uh, right now. So it's, uh, it's beautiful weather out here. You can't beat this, man. This is the, we, we make it through the summers for these beautiful days. Uh, so give us, a, give us a, the, the 10,000 foot view of uh, what this article was about in the uh, November issue. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, um, I spent 20 years as a, as a mortgage originator, right? So I made all Scotsman Guides list and, um, you know, own a, own a mortgage bank still today and was a, you know, perennial kind of top 10, uh, you know, producer out there. And then really one of the things that really kind of came about is we all know dealing with home affordability. We have affordability issues across this country. And about uh, about just about 18 months ago, um, one of my best friends and, and business partner, um, Tarek Al Musa, uh, the host of HGTV, Flipper Flop, Flipping 101, all those shows. Him and I were actually out here in Scottsdale and we were golfing. And, you know, he kind of said to me, he's like, Brian, are you noticing, you know, that electric rates are going way up? And I was like, yeah, man. I, I was like, dude, I just built my house. And, you know, we, we built a beautiful home out in, in San Diego and I got my first energy bill. Um, and that was a big house. It was a, you know, 9,000 square foot house, but I didn't expect it to come with a $3,500 a month electric bill. Mm. And I got my first electric bill bill. And I'm like, yeah, man. He's like, dude, rates are starting to go up. You know, I'm even all my flippers on our show. I'm starting to do that. You know, what are your thoughts on solar, Brian? I was like, I hate solar. I hate it. I think because, you know, these uh, door knockers go out and they knock on a, they knock on the door that are 19 year old kids. They don't even own a house. They put these people into these horrible solar loans that are way too small. They don't even produce enough power. And it has a really bad rap. You know, I said, but there is a new bill that's coming out called with, it's funny, aptly named the Inflation Reduction Act, but yet you spend $400 billion, you know, reducing inflation, right? Um, and I said, it's coming out because we have a serious problem with electricity here in certain parts of the country. And um, so I really, him and I basically really spent uh, a lot of time because we wanted to figure out because now like in California or Arizona or Florida or Texas, your big populous states, the second most expensive bill somebody has besides their mortgage now, their electric bill. And we said, electric bills only go in one direction. And I looked into it and I was shocked. And I realized we all think of like electricity as public utilities, right? Public utilities. Well, they're about as public as a publicly traded company, right? They are not for nonprofit. And so what I learned was, is that electricity rates in like California, for an example, have gone up 300 percent in the last decade. And so homeowners now with rising mortgage rates, I realized, okay, we have, we have to figure out affordability. We cannot control what the Fed does. We've all just learned that they're, you know, on this, this, you know, battle to fight inflation. So I said, if there's a way to bring back affordability and we can't attack mortgage rates, there's got to be a way where I can start attacking their second most expensive bill, their electric bill. And so what we decided and came out and did is the Fed has been fighting us in the real estate and mortgage industry, making our lives pretty dang hard to operate with rising rates and all these other things. But on the other end, they're doing the complete opposite when it comes to energy efficiency. Billions and $400 billion has been set aside of taxpayer dollars to help homeowners in high cost utility areas drive down their energy bill. So I said, how can I tap into this and how can I incorporate it into a mortgage product? Because nobody has the money on hand right now to spend 10, 20, 30, $40,000 to make their home more energy efficient. But yet a home buyer, especially a first time home buyer, they are in an apartment saving up money. They have a $150 electric bill. They're not even thinking about electric costs. They go move into a 2,500 square foot first home in San Diego or wherever you want to do in Dallas, Texas, they get their first bill in the mail and it's $500 a month. And they're like, whoa, there's got to be a better way to do this. And so that led us to basically form what's called Soar Energy, which is an energy efficiency company, which basically has part has been working with Fannie Mae, 
the Department of Energy, UWM, EPM Mortgage, the Loan Store, all your big lenders to roll out a mortgage product um, we all know is it's called the Energy Efficient Mortgage. We've aptly named it the EcoSafe Mortgage, where it's going to allow a homeowner at the time of purchase to be able to roll into their mortgage loan without any money out of pocket up to 15%, but more realistically, about 10% to get new Energy Star appliances in their kitchen, to put rooftop solar if it makes sense for them, as well as make energy efficient upgrades to the home like smart things. Like, for example, Carl, like you probably don't even, we all know, I mean, Carl, in your house, would you say you have some rooms that are hotter and colder than other rooms probably, right? Yeah, almost always, sure. Always, right, right. And now you think about it, we, have, we can literally from our phone order a stranger to pick us up really anywhere in the world with Uber. But yet we've never figured out a way of why the heck do we air condition rooms that nobody's in? We all have that guest room or that office in our house that nobody's in, but we definitely don't want to get up on our step stool and shut the register and the vent every time we do it. Well, there's actually now technology out there called smart vents. It's really cool. It's a vent that plug. it just replaces your existing vent, super inexpensive, and it detects if somebody's in the room or not. So if somebody's not in the room, guess what? The vent closes because why are you wasting your beautiful, expensive, cold air heating that spare bedroom that nobody's in it, right? Or what you can do is on your phone, you can say, I want my master bedroom at 68 degrees at night, but I want my baby's room at 72 degrees. And it'll adjust the flow of the air into that room. Very inexpensive. There's lots of these different energy efficient upgrades. And the best part is, is beginning on January 1st, not only are they really inexpensive and they save dramatically off your energy bill, for, but the federal government will be paying for 50% of them in cash rebates to homeowners on top of the 30% federal tax credit people get. So we said, wow. So I've spent literally the last year working with Fannie Mae, working with a couple of the largest appraisal management companies in the country, you know, Matt Ishbia and Melinda and over there at UWM and, uh, you know, Laura Brandau over at EPM Mortgage to roll out an energy efficient purchase loan for a homeowner that can roll in these costs and then the appraiser will be able to give them value on the appraisal report to allow them to roll in without having to come out of pocket. So now a homeowner can get $30,000, dollars $40,000 of a new solar system to eliminate their electric bill, all these energy efficient upgrades to their home, take that energy bill from 500 bucks a month to almost nothing, increase their mortgage payment by only maybe $150 a month, so you're saving them $350 a month on their housing expenses and then get a 30% federal tax credit and cash rebates on all of that, putting money back in their pocket. So $35,000 in upgrade, they're getting a $10,000 federal tax credit on top of a couple thousand dollars in cash rebates, coming no money out of pocket and bringing back affordability and solving the problem that we're all running into where homes in America are older. 80% of the housing stock is 30 plus years old and there was no energy efficient standards even building any of these homes. And it's only within the last couple of years that builders are even having to use any of these items. And so it's an unbelievable way that now we're going to be able to bring back not only affordability, but give that homeowner a more comfortable home to be able to move into at the time they are purchasing it without having to come out of pocket. I'm just sitting here thinking, how in the world is it? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very transparent here, maybe yeah. may, maybe pr putting myself to look uh, a little silly. How is it that, like in my branch, I close, I don't know, probably three thousand loans this month. I've never heard of this. How is that possible? It sounds like the biggest no brainer ever. Yeah, I, so has my head been in the sand, or is this like a little no, kept secret? No, or? it's not. That's my thought exactly. So what ended up happening with all of this was is we originally set out an energy efficient company and that the goal of the energy efficient company, and here's where it comes down to play is you think about this in the mortgage world and this, I mean, you know, I funded almost $5 billion in, in loans during my career. And during that career, I thought to myself, why is it that the mortgage industry, we have always been told Mortgages, 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 no other streams of revenue within your business. If you diversify in any way, shape, or form, you're a, you're a sellout. But yet, if I was to sell you, Carl, hey, I have this really great business idea, Carl. You're going to sell two widgets. 
and you don't control the price of those widgets, somebody else does, and you're only going to sell those two widgets. You would say to yourself, Brian, you're an idiot. And that's the worst business ever idea. But yet that's the mortgage industry. We sell a refinance and we sell a purchase. We do not control the cost of either one of those widgets. All the widgets are really the same, maybe dressed a little differently. And then we have a good 10 year run. Then you go on a two year bad normal cycle and 50% of those companies get wiped out of business. Sounds like a, we've not been doing it the best over all these years. And so, you know, as an entrepreneur, you know, and, you know, I had the idea of, well, why is it that real estate agents get to own title companies and escrow companies and do all these other things? And why is it that Amazon and Microsoft have seven different verticals of their business that work harmoniously together, but yet a loan officer and a mortgage company owner were told to sell two widgets and that's it, right? So I said, energy efficiency is the second fastest growing industry in America over, or in the world over the next decade, only beat out by AI and followed up by robotics. So... I said, okay, there's got to be a way to incorporate that. So we launched a company, Soar Energy, that basically what it did was, is it was a vehicle as a vertical that the mortgage company owners could add to their business, where we basically had energy advisors, just like how you have an insurance agent you refer to. And we created and spent a couple million dollars building an energy report, which is like the, what the Zestimate did for home values. Mm -hmm. You go and type in your address, it tells you what your value is. We built that for homes where we actually worked with the Department of Energy, AI and machine learning and built where you can type in an address and it'll give you an energy profile for that home. It tells you what that bill is going to be, what energy efficient upgrades should be made to that home, what they can get their bill down to with those energy upgrades, how much in federal and tax rebates they can get. And if the federal government will actually install the panels and do these upgrades into their home. And so when we created that report, it now gives that individual loan officer when they're dealing with a client or a past client, hey, you know what? I can't save you money on your mortgage rate right now, but I can look to save you some money on your energy bill. Here's what this would look like. Let me have you talk to our energy advisor in our office. And we created this platform. And then the loan officer is able to earn 60 to 70% of the commission on the deal, working with that energy partner, putting a couple thousand dollars in every deal on their pocket. And so we built that and in building it, and when we launched it, uh, myself and Shelby Elias, who owns another large mortgage company in Tarek, we ended up you know, doing very, very well, breaking a bunch of records in the industry. And then something hit me. I've got to figure out a way to incorporate this in the mortgage. And then I went through all the Fannie Mae good old bulletins, and I found an energy efficient mortgage that was rolled out years and years and years ago, but nobody ever brought it to market. And I figured out why. Well, because when it was rolled out in you know, 2017, 2018, energy rates were 70, 80% cheaper than what they are today. So there was no real cost savings. Back then in 2018, you went solar in California. It was a bill swap. Who wants to, who wants to spend $40,000 on a solar system for just swapping their bill? So I got, you know, if uh, you end up knowing me when... Like, you know, I'm like a pit bull with a bone. I get something in my mind and I will not stop. And so I basically said, there's got to be a way that I can bring this to life now. And the problem was, is how do we determine what energy efficient upgrades should be done to a particular home to bring about energy savings? Because that's the only way that Fannie Mae wanted to give them value. Well, why are we going to let you increase your loan amount if it's not offsetting your electric bill by the same amount? So... We created, I spent a couple million dollars and we built the very first of its kind, this AI home energy report that can be very similar to like how Zillow's estimate would be, but this is for energy use and savings. Um, and then I know Matt Ishbia very well. I know all the owners of these large companies very well and uh, spent the last six months working to roll this out. So the program actually will pilot program with uh, two of the lenders um, in the beginning of January. Um, and so we've actually closed quite a few of them on a, on a pilot basis. Um, and so the reason why you haven't heard about it is because it was a product that Fannie Mae rolled out that nobody ever rolled out until I found it because nobody ever picked up a way because why would a loan officer really want to roll these energy efficient upgrades in when there's no compensation, but just making their job harder for the same payday. And that's the solution that we, we saw. So let me make sure I understand. I want to backtrack just a yeah. little bit. So, and I'm just going to grab an example. Yeah. So like if, if, if I have somebody, they're buying a 
they're 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 buying a four hundred thousand dollar house. Yep. And uh, and they put five percent down. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we can tack. And, and I get it. There's you know uh, we have to make sure we're in the guidelines, whatever they are. Yep. But we can we can tack somewhere around ten mm-hmm. percent. So like another forty thousand. So I'm actually I've got in essence a hundred percent or even maybe well, well plus over. a little bit. Yep, exactly. So the way it would work is this. So there is a specific sheet that of what you're allowed to roll in. So for an example, and one of the things that's very important to understand is, you know, how gas prices, they vary a little bit, you know, with different states, but you're maybe call it, I'm in Arizona right now and it's five bucks a gallon. When I was in San Diego, it's six bucks. When I go to my house in Tennessee, it's 450, but it's all relatively safe. Electricity yeah. rates are not like that. For an example, in Detroit, somebody pays six cents per unit of energy. In San Diego, they pay 70 cents per unit of energy, okay? So the important thing to understand with this product, this will not be something that is a nationwide benefit because of people's electric bills. But where you're gonna be really focusing in on it are California, Arizona, Florida, Texas, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, probably about, there's about 10 or 11 states where, and that's about 65% of the, the metro areas, uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, all these kind of higher cost utility states. And so once you are deemed to be in a high cost utility state, which we educate on, you basically have a list. And what happens is you go out and you find a property, Carl, and you say, hey, my, my client's looking for houses in, in, you know, let's say Scottsdale, Arizona. And I say, yeah, you know what? Scottsdale, Arizona is a high cost utility area. Your client, if they find a home, here's the energy upgrades they can do. We run a report on an example address they like. And it says, hey, on this property, this would make sense. It gets enough sunlight hours, makes sense to go solar, makes sense for this home. We could put these smart vents in, um, do some new insulation on that home and pick some new energy star appliances for the kitchen. So call it a $30,000 package. Their bill is going to be $450 a month approximately for the house they're moving into, which our report says. And now we know, okay, rolling in $35,000 into that mortgage loan is going to increase their mortgage payment 200 bucks a month, right? So now what the appraiser does is when the appraiser goes out there, we give them a copy of our energy efficient report and they go out and we have been working with Appraisal Nation, which is the largest AMC in the country, um, to actually train these appraisers to be green certified appraisers. So they will go out there and they will say, hey, we know that adding solar panels, doing this, this will provide a reduction in their energy bill of $300 a month. So we can give value to that of $20,000. And so what the loan program will allow them to do is to roll in the lesser of about 10% of the purchase price or 97% of the as completed value. So they'll say house is 400,000. Great, we do these new upgrades. It's gonna take it to 420,000. So Carl, your homeowner can finance in $415,000 into this property to be able to do this. And that's what that mortgage program will go. So it can't be like, oh, well, I wanna go out there and put a wolf range in my kitchen. No, it's, you know, so, but what it's designed for is you are always, what you are going to increase the mortgage payment by, you're going to more than offset that by the reduction in those energy bills. And this is a way that we can take energy. And you think about it, like a a builder, for an example, can spend about $6,000 when they build a track home and they'll reduce their energy bill by about 40%. They can put radiant heat barriers, some of these technologies. Builders don't do it. They don't do it. They don't do it because they're not required to do it. Now in California, new construction homes have to have solar panels on them now. But outside of that, you do not have to be, they don't have to be doing this. And the grid system in America was never built for 400 million people living in it. It's a very old system. And so this is what is a great alternative of how you turn over these aging homes and bring them about more energy efficient. And what we did is design a company and a platform that now a loan officer is that we allow on the platform, which we are selective, gives them the ability to not only make money on the loan that they have an, a unique loan product, they also get to make now money on those energy efficient upgrades of an extra couple thousand dollars to do so. Really interesting stuff. So uh, 
And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I think we can all agree that the impact of the rising electric bills, this is just going to be more and more and more uh, interesting. What's the uh, what's the biggest hurdle uh, for the homeowner to uh, consider when they're thinking about an energy efficient mortgage? Yeah. So there's really there's two ways a homeowner does it. Number one is obviously they're going to have to qualify for a higher loan. Right. So the big thing is, is obviously if they're going to, you know, even though they're going to be offsetting their electric bill, we all know electric bills don't get factored into a debt to income ratio. Right. Yeah. So one, you know, if you're you have a homeowner and that homeowner is pre-approved at a 50 DTI at a 400 purchase price, then they need to look for a house at 370 and do these energy efficient upgrades. for. Right? Yeah. That's number one. Number two is you need to make sure you're looking at a property in a high cost utility area. So call it one of those eight to ten states give or take right yeah outside of that it's not about doing a remodel on your home it's about making your home more less wasteful of energy right and that's where it's not been really talked about before but and i'm not this green thumb you know sitting around saying oh environmentalists i mean at the end of the day it's more of the only reason why i really care about this because it drives down the cost that i have to pay to, to of home ownership in my home you know, yeah. I mean, yes, there are the climate effects and all of that, but I wouldn't be one of those people that'd be willing to spend twice as much on my energy bill just to save the environment. Truthfully, I'm an entrepreneur, you know, I'm not an environmentalist, right? Now, the beauty of this is this is not going to be something that is a 40-year plan. This is something that the, they have put the Inflation Reduction Act in place that really goes over the next 10 years. Their goal is to help get 40% of homes in America to make them more energy efficient. And the biggest thing that a homeowner needs to understand is if they're an existing homeowner, for example, this, and not a lot of people know this, so you can actually, like when you move into a home, when you moved into your home, Carl, what made you pick your electric company that you chose? I, I'm only guessing that there's only one available. Exactly right, right? That's the problem. It's a monopoly. But how, what's been changing and what's been coming in and these utility companies are for profits. Well, now what most people don't even realize now is, you know, let's say Carl, let me show you this example. Say Carl lives in San Diego. Carl has San Diego gas and electric. His electric bill is about 600 bucks a month. Carl's like, I don't want to go. I'm an existing homeowner. I don't want to go and spend, take out a loan for $40,000, even though I can finance 100% of it for energy efficiency and solar. I don't want to do that. It just doesn't, doesn't make sense. Well, Carl, probably you don't know that there's actually now programs. One of them is um, with a company called Next Era. Next Era is the largest public utility company in America, Fortune 50 company. They actually have the ability now that if your house gets enough sunlight hours, and if your house is in a high cost utility area, like San Diego is, they will come out, they will pay with government subsidies and their own money out of the pocket. They will install battery storage and solar panels on your house, do energy efficient upgrades to that property, and then rather than you paying San Diego Gas and Electric 50, 60 cents for every unit of energy you buy, they'll sell it to you at 30 cents and they guarantee it only goes up 2% per year, whereas San Diego Gas and Electric has been raising at 15 or 20%. So you actually can go with a solar utility company now. And so our company actually does those installs. And then once we install it, just like how if you fund a mortgage loan and then Fannie Mae takes over the servicing, right? We do the same thing. We go out, we install it. And then you have Next Era comes in and takes over that service thing. And now you write your energy bill every month to Everbright, which is you know their solar entity. You paid nothing, you financed nothing. It's a guaranteed transfer to a new buyer. And the problem is there's this all over pockets of the country, but the problem that people are unaware of is the delivery method. The delivery method has been a inexperienced, uneducated door knocker that pounds on the door and sells solar when it should be have been delivered by the professional that put them into that home, knows their financial assets. And so our goal is to empower the real estate agent and the loan officer to actually provide this education to their client, put them with a company that can do a good job and then earn some revenue and provide a kind of change to the cycle of only selling two widgets. Fascinating stuff. Hey, Brian, I see we're at the top of the hour. Brother, just great information. I'd recommend to all of our listeners, if you haven't read it, make sure you go to the uh, November residential uh, edition and look up uh, Brian Decker's article, Take the Jolt Out of Power Bills. Uh, Brian, somebody wants to reach out for you about it, more information about this or, and or 
uh, soar energy? What's the best way to do that? So um, I got a couple hundred thousand followers on Instagram, so they can always reach me there. It's just my name, the just the Brian with an I Decker you can do there, or you can go check us out on uh, Soar Energy. That's S O A R. Like I'm going to soar in the clouds. Energy.com, and that's the uh, company that Tarka Musa and I own together. You guys can check it out there, and um, or you know just send me a DM on uh, on Instagram, uh, or you can just contact us directly through that. Um, and uh, if you're a loan officer and you're looking at wanting to potentially get on that platform or be able to do that, feel free to, to kind of reach us out and kind of let you know what the criteria is to, uh, to join that program. Thank you so much, Brian. I uh, really appreciate it and uh, great information. So I appreciate it. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Thanks for forwarding this to three of your favorite loan officer friends. My name is Carl White, and we'll see you on the next episode of Author Showcase, uh, sponsored by the Scotsman's Guide. Thanks again, everybody. See you on the next episode.